Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 through 13. Like I said, I want to give honor to my pastor, and give honor to the ministry here. I also want to say on behalf of my family, uh, thank you for your prayers. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, the hardest part of a situation like this is every time somebody comes up and says, we're praying for you, you get to remembering things. And like I said, though, I'm, I'm grateful for it. But anyway, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 says, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having done all, to stand. You may be seated. I'm going to talk about that last word. A couple years ago, I was playing basketball with some young men, and I tore something in my right leg. I get it confused. I, I'm not sure if it's an MCL or meniscus or whatever. Either way, now almost any time I want to, I can pop both of my knees, especially when I'm sitting down. Unfortunately, those of you who sit around me during service will hear it three or four times a night. It hurts sometimes to stand. I get to stand in too long. It, it hurts. I have to sit down. And I know that I, I don't have the same knee problems as some of you have. Some of you have had surgery. Some of you have back problems that I can't understand. But either way, it gets to hurting to stand. It, it becomes physically difficult at times. And even at times when we can stand, it gets discouraging. I, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stand. I don't know if my knees are going to be able to hold up. Am I having a good day or a bad day? I don't, I'm not at a point where I have more bad days than good days, but I still have a couple. But like I said, it gets very discouraging. And of course, if I went out and I lost weight and I got a little more active, then maybe I could fix my own problems. <laughs> but even there, you know, you get out and I've, I, I lost 60 pounds at one point in about seven months. Go out working out and, and eating right, and now all of a sudden I can't lose any, which gets discouraging again. You know, sometimes when we go to stand, not all our struggles are exterior. Sometimes, you know, we get to feeling pressure. We're taking a stand for what God has given us. And sometimes it's exterior. The devil's attacking us. He's coming at us. But sometimes... It's not exterior, it's interior. You know, it, sometimes it just takes all we can to stand up. We have to muster up something inside of us just to stand up. We know that this is where we're supposed to be. We know this is what we're supposed to be doing. And we know that after this, after taking that stand, it's going to get better. But sometimes in our head we're like, okay, I'm going to take this stand, but can I do it without getting attacked this time? Can I do it without a fight? Can I do it without a struggle? Did, do I have to get hit every time I take a stand? We're like, can it just be easy this time? I heard somebody say that before the battle of the fist comes the battle of the mind. But the truth is, before you can take your first step, you have to take your first stand. I mean, yes, okay. There are rare moments where you can get up, you can walk without getting up, but it looks weird, it feels weird, and eventually you got to stand up. <laughs> Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 through 3 tells us, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. 
But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Church, I feel I have one simple word. I feel like God spoke to me before service tonight. Just fight through it. Stand, and he will do the rest.